you back home. And I couldn't be more thankful because only, you know, these people, Kim Steele, Christina Hudson, Chris, the staff here came alongside me that I never would have imagined. I knew they were able, but then they brought the office to number one while I was gone. And that's just a it's testimony incredible. to the collaboration, the synergy, the compassion of what everybody does here. Yeah. And, and I know that it's not me because I wasn't here, but they were. It's you. It, well, no. I, I'm sure you could say this too, is that those for those couple months when she wasn't here, there's definitely a different energy in the office. Not saying that it was bad, but it was just not Susan level energy because like you bring it every single day. Mm -hmm. Like you light people up, you know what I mean? And so to have you back is refreshing and amazing. But what you're saying though is, is I mean, yeah. Your, your love and I mean, not, it's going to sound like Hallmark and corny, but <laughs> your, your love and energy that you give this is here, whether you're physically here or not. And I think it was almost like, mm -hmm. I mean, like when daddy's deployed in the, I mean, the kids either rebel <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right? and go crazy or they're like, wow, you know, I, I miss my dad so bad. I want him to come home and see that I got straight A's and score my first touchdown. And the kids yeah. like, you know, yeah. and it was like, everybody wanted you to come back to this. I mean, and it was totally subconscious. It wasn't like we stood around by the couch and talked about like, well, let's do this so Susan can be impressed. When, right. But I think everybody just had this like subconscious push, like, you know what? We're not gonna let her down. We're not gonna have her come back and be like, oh my God, what were you guys doing? Like, yeah. we want her to come back and be like, oh my God, you guys just knocked it out. Yeah. You know, and again, really totally subconscious yeah. on that or semi-conscious on that. But I think that's, a testament to the energy and the love that you give everybody here. I think everybody has that same level of love and that's what makes us successful. You certainly attract a certain type of agent here. And and I think um, it's it's been nothing but momentum for, since 2016 once you, yeah. you opened, got the party started here because yeah. it seems like every year it gets better and better. Yeah. And uh, I can't wait to see what's gonna happen in 2020. Oh, me too. But um, me too. I think the word's out that this is an incredible office aesthetically. It's one of the most beautiful offices I've seen. I mean, I'm sure you've gone to a lot of real estate offices where it's just a line of cubicles and just kind of this weird cold feeling to it and just yeah. it's awkward yeah. and everybody's kind of covering the work like, get away, yeah. you know, it, yeah. it's very territorial. Yes. And um, very secretive and nobody's out to help you. But it's like, you know, you have Kim Steele and associates and all the team and Chris and and all these top producers. And I love when we do our monthly meetings because you're like, all right guys, here she is, ask her questions. Like literally the person that just started yesterday can pick your brain mm -hmm. and you have that heart to serve. Yeah. And, and you're so willing to share those yeah. you know, secrets like. Yeah.